Hey guys, it's Barrett Lyon here. Um, I've been doing some research on something I, I think is interesting and I'd like to share it with you. Um, got an email the other day from a reporter asking if I had any video of the current internet outage uh, in Iran. And I thought that'd be interesting. I'd, I've done one before. And so what I decided to do is check it out. I uh, rendered a really high resolution, you know, frame by frame image and didn't see any outage. Uh, it looked fine. But what I did see is a massive change in how Iran routes its network. So what I saw was a new internet provider called Telecommunications Infrastructure Company. That's down on the bottom corner there. That did not exist in 2018, and I thought it was kind of interesting. So here we have 2018. Uh, you can't really see it in this image, but the upper ISP is different. So there's been a massive policy change with their internet which didn't even exist until September 2017. It's the de facto standard for all internet in Iran. So the first mention of TIC on the internet is when they acquired the Gulf Bridge International Undersea Cable, which feeds most of the internet for Iran, and uh, found that on archives.org. So this is an ex extract of Iran from the massive internet uh, video or pictures that I've made. So I could focus on little specific areas. So this is the beginning of 2018. This is Iran itself up here. Down here is the internet infrastructure providing data, uh, you know, connectivity into Iran. And then Iran's internet provider at this time is called Information Technology Company, ITC. And it provides banking, higher education, insurance, uh, some really interesting uh, stuff with the government and uh, hosts two very interesting slash 16s that I've been exploring. Anyway, right now we don't have telecommunications infrastructure company yet, so TIC doesn't exist. We could step forward a little bit in this map and it'll start to appear. There it is. So this little dot here represents the AS49666. So 49666 was just created uh, or put into use uh, around July of 2018. And then as we step forward, you're going to see it become more connected to things. So now it has redundant connections between its predecessor, which is uh, ITC, and some of the mobile carriers, internet providers, and businesses in, inside Iran. So now we have kind of two competing providers. We'll step forward a little bit further and we'll see that uh, eventually telecommunications infrastructure company takes over all routing control for the entire country. And no one really noticed that it happened. Um, here we go. Now the only point in and out of Iran is through that through that point, and that's in May uh, 2020. So around the end of May in 2020, during COVID, they made this massive change. And then as we scroll forward, uh, it it's, it remains. So this little tool is very helpful to kind of take some really complex data, give it some sense, make it visual. It also pulls out some of the detail that's happening within the internet map itself. So here you can see the whole internet, a little piece of it, and how we kind of move from the whole internet to just Iran. So we could look up the exact building this is all done in. It's a great single point of failure, you know, and it's interesting that the, the uh, internet provider is directly across the street from the Communications Regulatory Authority of the Islamic Republic of Iran along with other federal buildings. So when you translate things off of their website, you can find out that they not only do, you know, IP address registrations and, uh, and internet, but they also are in charge of the certificate authority of the country, which means that, you know, they could probably decrypt everything people are doing. Also, they provide e email for, you know, a major part of like Iran.ir. So it's a really decent single point of control. Um, uh, and, uh, they're really kind of hiding their website quite a bit, so it's difficult to even get this data off of it. Here's another interesting quote. You know, not only are they in charge of communications for the country, but they're also the agent of the government policies of the Ministry of Communications and Information. So there you have it. Around May 2020, um, Iran implemented its new internet service provider, which is also its new uh, great firewall of Iran.